everyone, me again. Welcome back to Wix and Media Rex and to a video that so many of you have been requesting on my weekly vlogs and on my Instagram and that is how I curl my new short hair. So if you haven't been watching my videos for the past few months now, uh, you might notice that I look a little bit different. I'm the blogger who used to have super, super long hair, but I chopped it off at New Year to donate to the Little Princess Trust, which is a charity that takes donations of real hair and turns them into wigs for children with cancer. So after I had it cut, I realized very, very quickly <laughs> that all the products that I used and all of the tools that I used to curl my long hair didn't work as well for short hair. Um, if you're looking for a long hair tutorial, I'll try and leave the link down below, but I've had to pretty much revamp my entire routine on how I curl it. And to be honest, I have it curly most days because I just prefer it. I think it looks really nice and beachy and wavy and messy um, so that's the look I'm gonna try and show you how to do today so when I first got my hair cut off I got sent a couple of different curling tongs to play around with because I was really really struggling and so many of you had recommended loads of different ones um, and the two that I have been using and trying out are the GHD curve and the Babyliss curling one the rose gold one now I love them both to be honest I really didn't get on with the GHG when I first got it I found it quite difficult to use so I tended to reach for this one the most um, and the Babyliss one is a really great low don't worry it's not on I'm not, I'm not burning myself um, but this one's a really great sort of lower end curling tong if you're looking for one I think it's only about 30 quid I'll try and leave a link down below to everything that I'm using um, but it's great it gets really hot and it's obviously got the tapered end so it gives you a really nice sort of balanced curl um, and yeah and I tend to reach for this one a lot at the start and I also still use it now if I want curls that are gonna stay in for a night out and stay really curly because it gives you a tighter curl but I have stuck with the GHD curve and to be honest this is the one that I tend to reach for most of the time now um, it's a little bit thicker a little bit fatter uh, but it's still sort of tapered at the end and it kind of it's an oval shape instead of a really small cone but for me this just gives me a lovely wave that does tend to drop out a little bit more but it's more kind of everyday curls which is what I tend to do the most so along with my curling tongs I have actually changed up my products I didn't actually used to use a lot of products at all with my long hair they just used to tend to stay in the curls that I put in um, but now seeing as it's gone shorter they tend to drop a little bit quicker so I've had to rely on some products and just like curling tongs there are so many different products out there I've tried quite a few these are the ones that I tend to come back to again and again and the first is this Schwarzkopf got to be twisted double curling power curling mousse <laughs> which is really difficult to say I don't like mousse I really hate mousse but this is amazing it doesn't leave your hair sticky it doesn't make it feel crunchy it just really does help the curls stay in place I notice a difference when I use it and when I don't so that's why I'm including it in this video because it's damn good and it's not that expensive either and another product I rely on a lot now is hair oil uh, that was my dog sneezing in the background <laughs> uh, hair oil because I also use a lot of salt spray so um, in order for it to stop completely drying out I tend to pop a bit of oil in and these products go in before I dry my hair so after I've washed it before I blow dry I pop these products in and they work wonders so I've already got those in my hair today because I started to I washed it yesterday and I'm gonna curl it on day two which also makes a difference I feel that my curls stay in a little bit better on the second day than the first however a top tip for that is dry shampoo so if you've just washed your hair I also I tend to put those products in dry it and then I spray a little bit of dry shampoo in just to give it a bit of hold and a bit of grit and then I do my curls and that's a really good tip if your hair is like super silky and slippy after you've just washed it a couple of other products that I use um, the GHD curl hold spray now this goes on before you start using your curler to curl again I just think this works really well it just seems to do wonders for my hair so I keep using it um, and then to finish it off once all the curls are done I use hairspray and salt spray most of the time I tend to reach for the matrix freezing spray really like that one or Lnet as well just the usual gold one uh, and salt spray I use two I've got the fudge urban sea salt which is like a 3.0 hold and the matrix mess maker salt spray as well this one's a bit finer so it just depends on how my hair looks and how sort of like beachy I want it to be depending on which one of these I use that is a lot of information let's get on to the curling so the GHD curve heats up pretty quickly um, it tends to heat up within about a minute and then properly gets to heat within about two or three so super fast still um, and I tend to section off my hair with a hair clip that I have had since I was a teenager I do not know how it's still going 
but hey, it works, so we're gonna go with that. Okay, so first things first, section off the hair and brush it out. Um, like I said, this is day two hair, which tends to curl a little bit better, but the dry shampoo tip is a really, really good one. And then we're gonna use the curl spray, so you literally just spritz it on and work it through the hair a little bit. It smells amazing, oh my God. Again, I see a difference when I use this and when I don't. So, I've got my GHD Curve here, and I tend to curl away from my face, so I take in sections probably about that big, not too big, not too small, and we curl away from the face. So I pop it in at the top, and then twist around the barrel, leaving a tiny bit at the bottom free, because I want to give it that kind of, I don't know, there's definitely a look with curls these days, isn't there? Where it's like curly at the top, and then a little bit straight at the bottom, <laughs> and then if you sort of wrap it around and hold the curl, just as it cools a little bit, again, it gives you that really lovely curly look. So I tend to go one side and then the other, just because it gives an even distribution of the heat as the curling iron's heating up. And this does come with a glove, but I haven't tended to use it recently. You watch me go and burn myself now. There you go, I curl away from the face for the first couple of sections until I get to the middle, and then I curl the other way, so. The bottom layers of my hair actually have grown quite a bit since I had them cut, so I can get away with using the thinner part of the curve for these. Otherwise, if they were really, really short, I would definitely recommend the Babyliss Curling Iron because it just gets in a little bit more because it's a lot thinner. It feels so weird. I used to be able to wrap my hair around so many times when I curled it. Now we only get two good ones. <laughs> Okay, so when I get sort of to the mid to the back lengths, I curl the other way. So I curl towards my face, I wrap the curl towards my face instead. And I just think that gives a little bit more texture and as the curls fall out, they don't all tend to fall in exactly the same way and kind of create a wave. You know, like the vintage kind of wavy style. We kind of want a messy beach look. So a couple of curls the other way do really well for that. I take down another layer and do the same again. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Oh, this stuff smells so nice. It's amazing how quickly your hair grows when it's this short. When it was long, it felt like it never grew at all. But now I feel like I'm having to get it cut every month. It just gives such a lovely curl, the GHD curve. So I tend to hold for about 10 seconds. Um, yeah, the longer you hold, the longer the curls will stay in, but just be careful. I also just try and keep the curling tongue tilted downwards as much as possible, just because otherwise it gives your hair a strange kink. So <laughs> it's tricky to do on the left side because I'm right-handed on the right side, because I'm right-handed. But um, yeah, just try and point it downwards. It just gives you a better curl. So instead of holding it like this, try and then twist it downwards, because it just gives you a better looking curl, I think. So the front, this is what I struggled with the most when I had my hair cut at first, was the front bit, the fringe, the bangs. Um, I tend to just do the same thing, but just a hold it a little bit looser on the tongue and then release it a bit quicker, just so it gives it a more gentle curl, uh, which will drop out really, really nicely. You just don't want the front bits to be super curly, in my opinion. Um, I think they just look a lot nicer if they're just a bit softer. So yeah, just don't wrap it as tightly around the one, don't hold it for as long, and just sort of like gently release the tongue out. We're getting there, we are getting there. And there we go, I think that's all of it. So I'm gonna turn my curlers off. Make a lovely sound. <laughs> but what I tend to do if I've got the time is to leave it like this for maybe like 10 minutes just to completely cool down before I run my fingers through it. I just find that that helps to keep the curl a little bit longer, if I'm honest. Um, but you do look like an idiot for a little while. But as we're doing a video, <laughs> I need to get it done straight away. I'm just gonna show you what I do with my curls afterwards. So before I even run my fingers through it, I'm gonna pop a little bit of hairspray in spray over the top and also lift the curls 
spray a little bit under just to get all the way around. Oh, the smell of this matrix is <laughs> really nice. Do not breathe it in though because... <laughs> and because it's day two of my hair wash, I don't feel like I need a super strong um, beachy look because it's already got a little bit of product in it from yesterday. So I'm going to use the Matrix Mess Maker Salt Spray. And again, this kind of just gives it a bit of texture and a bit of grit but just make sure that you are using a moisturizing hair mask about once a week if you use salt spray regularly because it does dry your hair out a little bit. So after that, I just tend to sort of zhuzh it up a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to run my fingers through and completely break up all the curls, but I just tend to sort of scrunch it a little bit and scrunch the ends where the salt spray's gone in, pull the front bits down. As you can see, they fall out really nicely when you do it with that technique. And yeah, just kind of, mess it up a little bit that's what we're going for messy beach curls so these will gently fall out over the next probably hour or two um to form like a really lovely beachy wave um but the reason why i do them so tight and hold them for as long as i do now is to make them last longer so tomorrow when i wake up with all the products that we put in it will still look really cool as soon as i get out of bed but all it will take is just like, a couple of little curls through random bits and bobs with the ghd curve or even the babyliss one um and it will be back to its former glory they do tend to last really well when i've done it this way and that is why it's my foolproof technique it's taken me a while to get there but I think I finally nailed it. <laughs> this video has been requested by so many of you, so I really do hope that it's helped in some way. If it has, don't forget to give it a giant thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. That helps us YouTubers out loads and I love reading them. I try to reply to every single one. Uh, and if also, if you've got any product recommendations, leave those down below. But I will leave the links to everything that I've used in the info bar if you wanna check that out. But yeah, if you're new, click subscribe, come and join Team XAX. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye! When I do these makeup tutorials, it just makes me realise how little I know about makeup. But you guys asked for it, so here we are. Hey everyone, me again, and welcome back to Ex Amelia X. So